Is that more or less gross than a vegan who failed to deal with the mouse infestation and fed them instead being fined in a court in England? <laughs> So some lady is a vegan and is like, I don't know, vegans really, really like animals. I really like animals, but at the same time, they're delicious. So, you know, that limits the uh, love and caringness that I have for animals, uh, especially the ones that I can eat. But this vegan lady, this 73-year-old lady uh, living in St. Ossis uh, in Essex uh, in the UK, uh, considered the mice that were an infestation in her house her pets. And instead of getting rid of them, like the building manager and the local government told her she had to do, she started feeding them. Even though she lives in what I think is a flat or an apartment type thing, where the mice could very easily get into other people's apartments. And so these people are trying to get rid of mice slash rats. And this lady, instead of getting rid of them and participating in ridding themselves of vermin, feeding them. How many mice are we talking about here? Um, I don't know. I was scrolling through the article. I couldn't really find um, the... I'm assuming uh, it's a see. lot. She was told in April that she had to deal with the infestation uh, and then hasn't at all. I, yeah, because mice reproduce quickly. I'm, yeah. I'm scrolling to see if I can see any numbers, but it doesn't look like anybody has any numbers. Um, I, I'd have to say at least 100. Right, yeah, like I'm that's got to be. My head, they're like climbing up the walls, and they're <gasps> just all over the place. Whoa. Did we have this conversation last episode? How, like, how many mice do you think it would take to take you out? <laughs> uh, this is not a joke. This could, this could theoretically happen. In if you go visit, <laughs> you could theoretically be attacked by mice. How many mice does it take? Do you, okay? Here's the thing: Does it take more mice or bees to take you down? Oh. Mice, no doubt. I think so too. I think so too, easily. Because at a certain point, the even the if you're not allergic to bees, at some point, the amount of infl I don't know, is it toxin, inflammation, whatever, I would assume would begin to impact your system. It would just kill you eventually. Like eventually, right? I mean, even getting stabbed with that many needles all at once, regardless right. of whether or not they're bee stings. Uh, yeah. Like I would imagine your body, after being stung by, I don't know, 50 bees? Starts to be like, what is going on? Yeah. I don't know. So it's got to be more mice. Yeah. But I think, I think the question is, is always how organized are they? That is do they the question. Know, do they know they're trying to take you down and are they when all fighting you? Because that would theoretical, get... When having theoretical debates of how many miniature animals can attack you or kill you, <laughs> you have to always take into consideration how coordinated are they? Yeah. Is this a coordinated, concerted attack to take you down, or are they just kind of hanging out? And if that's the case, and it's going to take quite a few, because quite generally few. speaking, probably you know only one percent of them realize that their goal is to take you down. Right. And uh, if that's the case, you know, I could take on a million mice who aren't trying to fight me. <laughs> I think that's I actually going to find a book, million mice. But okay, I think that's what the book of Mice and Men was about. Uh, nice. How many people nice. Can, nice. Yeah, can take people? <laughs> how many people? How many mice would it take to take down a person?